Now, what did I just do? Because part of this is I explain what I do, okay? What I just did are called mucks, or switches. Hustlers actually go into games and they switch cards. That was what I saw in the Golden Nugget 20 years ago. I saw a man switching cards. What I'm about to show you is a poker switch done in a game of poker. Four aces. Four aces, okay? A deck of cards only has four aces, except, oh, look, I have one, two, three, four, five. Ace of hearts. King. Whoa. Queen. <laughs> Jack 10. My sleeve. Look at my sleeve. Are those aces up the sleeve? No, they're not. not in the they're not in the jacket. Not no, up the no, sleeve. No, no. Okay. That's what's so devastating about cheating <laughs> is that you can watch it over and over and over. Look, I'm going to do this again. Royal flush. The odds of getting a royal flush in a game are 650,000 to one. Pretty slim. One, two, oh, wow. three, oh. four. Oh. Like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, one of the things I talk about a great deal in my books is misconceptions about gambling and casinos. And one of the misconceptions is, what are all those surveillance cameras for? Um, and really, it's for to watch the employees. <laughs> Primarily, it's to watch the employees. Yes, they do have to tape if they think people are stealing or cheating, because that's the only way you can convict, is with a tape. But they really have to watch the employees, and they especially have to watch the dealers. If a dealer can control just one card in a game, that can kill the house. It can cost them a tremendous amount of money over time. If a dealer can control a whole deck, casinos have been put out of business by people like this. They're called mechanics. Ken, I'm going to run my fingers across the cards. Would you say stop? Stop. Right here. I'm going to push the card out. And I was going to get to a little example of what's called card control. Everybody see the card? Did you get to see it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Card control. I'm going to try to control that card. Please don't forget to. Okay. Give the cards a couple of cuts. Take one half and turn it face up. Another half face down. Mix them together like that. So we get cards going face up and cards going face down. So far, so good. A hopeless mess. Okay, so we can see cards are face up and face down. Ken, for the first time, what was the card that you had me stop at in the deck? Two of clubs. Two of clubs. I just spread these out. Oh, oh look. Yeah. All the cards are going down. I said I mentioned before that if a if a dealer could control one card, that would be a real problem. But if a dealer could control the whole deck, and kind of that card is in the exact same position where you originally stopped me. And the reason I it, you know it is, don't you? Yeah. The reason I know it is is because if you turn them over, you see that the deck is in perfect order. Oh, oh ace wow. through king of spades, ace through king of hearts. 